What am I looking for? Level four is a biological quarantine wing. It houses a series of labs and medical facilities and an elaborate system for the storage of vast quantities of DNA. DNA from home? Virtually every American born since 1945. Every immigrant, every indigenous person who's ever given blood or tissue to a government doctor. This is what I was telling you, Agent Mulder. This is the hoax into which you've been drawn. The roots go back 50 years to the end of World War II. Playing on a virulent national appetite for bogus revelation and a public newly fearful of something called the atom bomb, the U.S. military command began to fan the flames of what were being called flying saucer stories. There are truths which can kill a nation, Agent Mulder. The military needed something to deflect attention away from its arms strategy. Global domination through the capability of total enemy annihilation. The nuclear card was fine as long as we alone could play it, but the generals and politicals knew what they could not win was a public relations war. Those photos from Nagasaki and Hiroshima were not faces Americans wanted to see in a mirror. Oppenheimer knew it, of course, but we silenced him. When the Russians developed the bomb, the fear in the military was not for safety at home, but for armistice and treaty. The business of America isn't business, Agent Mulder, it's war. Since Antietam, nothing has driven the economy faster. We needed a reason to keep spending money, and when there wasn't a war to justify it, we called it war anyway. The Cold War was essentially a 50-year public relations battle, a pitched game of chicken against an enemy we not much more than called names. The communists called us a few names, too. We will bury you, Khrushchev said. And the public believed it. After what McCarthy had done to the country, they ate it with a big spoon. We squared off a few times in Cuba, Korea, and Vietnam, but nobody dropped the bomb. Nobody dared. What does any of this have to do with flying saucers? The U.S. military saw a good thing in 47 when the Roswell story broke. The more we deny it, the more people believed it was true. Aliens had landed. A made-to-order cover story for generals looking to develop the national war chest. They opened official investigations with names like Grudge, Twinkle, Project Blue Book, Majestic 12. They brought in college professors and congressmen who fed them enough bogus fact, enough fuzzy photos and eyewitness accounts that they believed it too. They've even hooked Doug MacArthur, for God's sake. I can't tell you how fortuitous the timing of it all was. Do you know when the first supersonic flight was, Agent Mulder? 1947. Soon every experimental aircraft being flown was a UFO sighting. When the abduction story started up, it was too perfect. We'd almost gotten caught in Korea, an ambitious misstep. China and the Soviets knew it. The UN got all heated up at us. They're in warfare. We were accused of using it on the Koreans. It was developmental then, nothing like what we have the Russians have now. The bioweapons used in the Gulf War were so ingenious as to be almost undetectable. Developed right in the Soviet building. And all these reports of abductions, you're saying they've all been lies? Well, not lies exactly but citizens taken, unsuspecting, and tested. A classified military project above top secret and still ongoing. You've heard the recent denials about Roswell by the military and the CIA. And what's been the effect? Even wilder and more widespread belief. The American appetite for bogus revelation, Agent Mulder. But I've seen aliens. I've witnessed these things. You've seen what they wanted you to see. between science and science fiction doesn't exist anymore. What this is about is control of the very elements of life. DNA, yours, mine, everyone's. Then why a hoax? Why create hard evidence, an alien body that could be disproved? The body you found was so good, so believable, that only a directed scientific examination would have proven the fraud. Scully would have known. The timing of the hoax was planned so Agent Scully wouldn't be alive to do an examination. You went along with all this. You let them do this to Scully. I paid the price, Agent Mulder. When my son came back sick from the Gulf War, that was my retribution. I'm helping you now, but not unselfishly. You believe there's a cure for him in here, too? I have to think there is. DOD is detaining you for questioning. Would you come with us, Mr. Kritschkow? Sir. Sure. 